Well, um, I worked at United Dairy Farmers for a while, which is an ice cream place slash convenience store slash gas station here in Cincinnati. What kind of and... songs played in this store? Can you sing one for me? <laughs> we weren't allowed to have music except for Christmas time. Oh my God. Wow. That's... That's kind of... <laughs> there was no music. There was <laughs> no joy. Not... I'm sorry. Did you grow up in the town from Footloose? And after I left, <laughs> they installed cameras even in the back room. So if you took a break to eat, they would know what you ate and how long you took to eat it. Fascinating. That sounds fun. This is Big Brother Dairy Farmers. <laughs> 1980 UDF. The dairy farmers aren't paying you to eat, especially if you ain't eating dairy products. No, like we couldn't, we weren't allowed to take quote unquote food breaks because technically since we worked in a place that served food, we were expected to just have fine time to eat along the way. Like it was, uh, it was something. But on this particular occasion, I've actually got kind of two tales blended into one because they happened around the same time. One day I was working just normal midday shift and this kid comes in, I don't know how old, uh, somewhere between 12 and 16 probably with guys. Sometimes it's hard to tell because guys hit puberty at different ages where tend to be slower developers sometimes. So it's really hard to tell somewhere in that age range, I would guess. And he walked over and typically whenever people that age come in, they come in, they grab like a Gatorade or a candy bar, they go over to the ice cream, whatever. Uh, but he goes over to like our medicine section and I'm like, well, that's a little weird. And so whenever people do something kind of out of the ordinary, you tend to keep an eye. And he kind of kept looking over at me while he was over there. And I was like, okay, this is like two red flags already. Dude's like eyeing me and he's in the medicine section. What is going on? And before I can like get around the counter to go like walk over and offer to assist him or whatever to actually, you know, kind of imply, hey, I'm here. What the fuck are you doing? He looks at me over the shelf and he goes, hey, uh, where are the condoms? And I was kind of taken <laughs> aback because I had never been asked that before <laughs> in this store. Because typically, you know, people come for ice cream and milk or whatever. And, uh, uh, we don't sell condoms here. Really? You guys have all this other stuff? Uh, no, we don't sell condoms because, well, you know, dairy farmers, at least at that time, did not sell condoms. Uh, all right. Uh, well, you kind of look like you get around and I'm going to be getting some tonight. Do you have any advice? <laughs> Is what he followed up with to me. <laughs> oh. And I was like, what? He's like, you know, I just, I haven't really done it before. You got any tips? <laughs> oh, you said I haven't really done it before? He said that. Oh, I thought I thought this dude was out here just bragging around like, I get a lot of puss, so I need some condoms. <laughs> well, he's about to get some for the first time, apparently, and I looked like I got around, so he wanted advice. You know, this weirdly reminds me of the first time I ever bought a condom. I walked in uh, this UDF, maybe. Uh, was, like, was it you? I realized you can buy them. Where do you got your condom? <laughs> My God, you guys were about the same height. Uh, <laughs> You know, I only ever stole these before. I didn't even know you could pay for them with money. I, where are they? I'd like to procure some for sex having. I thought they were earned like Highlander. You know? <laughs> oh, I got it. I don't even remember how I responded at this point. I was so taken up because at first I thought he was coming to steal something because one, he went to a place that, you know, kids typically don't go to. And then oh, it's a good shoplifting kept, spot. Yeah. When he kept peeping at me, uh, our UDF used to get hit all the time for that. Yeah. Well, it's right by the, our medicine was kind of like by the door too. So if you were going to grab something and run, like that was a good spot to go to, I guess. But also the fact that he kept peeping over the shelf and looking at me, maybe because he was nervous, you know, about looking for condoms or something, or maybe because he was like, I don't see him. Maybe I should ask. Uh, I don't want to ask. Maybe it's embarrassing. Embarrassing. But the, you look like you get around. Do you have any tips? Was like, this, wait, was this Afro Wade? What, wait, what version of no, Wade was no, this? That, I, I didn't have an Afro oh, okay. for many years before this. I, this was like right before... I can see that for Afro Wade. This was like 2010, 2011. So this is like shortly before we started YouTube. So if you go right, back and look okay, at my first yeah. YouTube video, I looked like that. But you also have to imagine that I'm wearing a white UDF shirt with a red or maroonish apron, khaki pants, black shoes, whatever. Like I'm wearing an apron working at a retail place and this dude tells me I look like I get around and to give him sex advice I'm a 20 22 year old man somewhere in that range and this kid's asking me for sex tips and I just didn't I had the so many different lines were being muddied and crossed at that point I didn't know what to do so I don't even remember how I answered him fast forward two or three weeks I'm working behind the ice cream counter. We are actually very busy. I think we had three of us working. Two of us were at registers. I was over what we call dip side where we serve ice cream. So you come over and you get like your scoops of ice cream, your milkshakes, whatever. And I am helping customers over there. Two other employees are helping people at the front registers. Out of nowhere, 
one of the people at the registers like asks a question and I see one of like my coworkers look at me and I was like, what's up? He's like, uh, this guy has a question for you. And I was like, uh, okay, what's up? <laughs> I'm helping kids get ice cream. I'm scooping ice cream for like little kids. <laughs> and this dude goes, hey, my girlfriend and I want to role play. Do you think she should go for naughty teacher or naughty secretary? <laughs> <laughs> But specifically, <laughs> I was the one that they asked to answer this question. This is a different customer, mind you. You must have given off such a strong stench of an. Oh, I must have been alpha. like in the heat or something. It must have been Wade mating season, and I was giving off a vibe for about a month. But twice in a month, just as an employee at an ice cream shop, <laughs> I was prompted for sex advice. You just radiate such undeniable Sigma male vibes. <laughs> that anyone who's even in the same vicinity as you can sense that you 